Hi Gemini, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's dive in, let's see what is this week bringing for you, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. What is happening with you, Gemini? So we're going to see overall the theme of this week, your cards, your energies, somebody specific on your mind you're thinking about, how they are thinking or feeling towards you. A couple of advice is an outcome, right? So let's dive in, Gemini. Let's see what's coming towards you this week. Okay, so this one. Celebration, Three of Cups energy. Meeting people, going out, having dates, or just having f fun with your family and friends. I see there's something good coming towards you which deserves a celebration and you're going to do that, right? Schizophrenia, on the other hand, shows me that you're in your mind about something. There are things, there are situations that are requiring a decision. But right now you are struggling between two different opinions. I see there are two blocks and um, you are in the middle thinking, which should I pick up, right? So there are some fears attached in the situation I'm picking up. But anyway, that is something happening deep down in your mind I'm picking up. Overall, this week is the week of celebration cherishing your friendships your relationships <coughs> if you are having a specific person on your mind i see this person wants to take you out i, I just don't see uh, a small date I, in fact i see some energy where you're dancing you're enjoying with your people uh, staying with the people who help you forget your worries wow you vibe with them that's what i'm picking up amazing let's see what's coming towards you gemini this week the fool is there i think you're getting ready to make a decision and take a leap of faith right now you are in that process but very soon a leap of faith is coming towards you ten of pentacles page of wands someone's coming in for commitment i see it's going to start with a very naive message but someone wants to about something long term okay let's see what tarot has to say gemini so we have the justice here you are holding strong page of pentacles some communication and king of cups mm -hmm. okay i see emotions here gemini at your heart this is the heart energy i see cancer by scorpio energy if this is not you if you are not feeling very emotional for somebody, if you're not feeling love for somebody, this can be somebody specific in your surroundings, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know this person is very emotional about you, right? On the other hand, justice shows me that you want to set some record right. It's like a struggle between, again, schizophrenia, struggle between two different things. I see uh, listening to different voices in your head and you're not able to make out which is the right thing. Your intuition... For a lot of you, I see you're not able to completely get in tune with your intuition and pick the right thing. You're struggling between strong emotions and logical decisions. What should I do? Whether I should be staying with my emotional side and be with somebody my heart is saying. Or on the other hand, there is justice. There is a situation which requires balance and logic. And I'm thinking, what should I do? For a lot of you, I see in recent past, you have made some decisions which are very logical. And now because um, some emotions were left unspoken, that is bothering you. We have a fortune under the deck. Wow, this is intense. Let's dive in. Let's see a specific person in your surroundings, what they are thinking or feeling towards you. Okay, I see Ace of Wands. Okay, this person was looking for a new beginning here. Now they're silent. Temperance, okay. For a lot of you, I see, Gemini, this is somebody you turned down or you dodged the offer coming from their side towards you, right? They were passion and excitement, like they wanted a beginning, which is, uh, you know, go with the flow kind of energy, passionate, exciting, and let's first experience it and then we'll see where it goes. You, on the other hand, are very logical about something you are measuring something you are balancing something and you don't want something which is so airy or fiery right on the other hand um 
you are emotional about it. I want to know what is making you feel so emotional here. Nine of Pentacles is the overall energy. So I see more or less uh, your thought is to stay independent of something. Right? You're holding very strong, but the emotions within you, you don't want to express right now. For a lot of you, I see the one you're dealing with, this person is healing and taking a step back from the whole energy because I see they tried offering you something which you uh, were not sure of, right? And this was a small gesture I'm picking up. I don't really see a confession, a ma major confession. They just were giving you hints that, okay, I'm interested, are you? So I see you dodged it, you dodged it. And temperance shows me that they are one foot in, one foot out. They think about you a lot, but again, they are stepping back because they want to do see some sign from your side now, right? High Priestess sitting quiet, very intuitive, sad, Libra, Cancer energy. What is sign energy dominating here? High Priestess shows me this person is turning in now, right? They are sitting and waiting and not doing anything now. The strategy here can be that, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for Gemini to say something. Page of Wands, on the other hand, I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles. You have an idea, right? Idea which has a long-term perspective. It's naive right now, but you're thinking and analyzing it. For some of you, I see you do have an offer in your hand. You have received this communication from somebody that they have a long-term perspective here. And this person is not doing anything about it because their intuition is telling them to stay quiet. Because what they were offering to you and right now what you are getting is very different. They tried offering you a new start, so why were, okay, four of swords, two of cups, ten of cups, my god. Why is this justice energy here? Why you, why you were holding a different logic to the situation, let's see. Communication, four of cups, and queen of swords. Okay, Gemini, here you are, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I see whatever communication was, um, or maybe this week you might be hearing something. I see you're not very satisfied with it. What you are expecting is way different. For a lot of you, I see that your intuition is telling you to wait. To wait for something better. Four of Cups, for a lot of you, I see whatever is being offered to you is very similar to what you have experienced in the past. And this is not exciting. You feel like exploring more. You feel like turning it down again. Justice to the Four of Cups, again, similar energy. Turning something down. Queen of Swords, you have your own logic here. Okay, they're very confused. They're very confused. For a lot of you, I see this person is blindfolded and they don't understand what to offer you right now. Right? It's like they are overthinking. Right? They're overthinking. They're not able to come up front and they are offering you as less as possible because they don't know what's the right thing to offer here. Why are you Queen of King of Cups? I'm sorry. The star, Aquarius energy, three of cups and page of swords. You're hoping to reconcile with somebody or you're hoping for something that is about to happen. For some of you, I heard that in this week, you might go on a date or you might plan to go on a date with somebody. Start with the three of cups twice here shows me that you're hoping for a reconciliation or you're hoping for a date or a celebration with somebody and you are skeptical about <clears throat> it right now it's like you are not completely sure that it's going to work out but you're hopeful that there's something positive can come out of it so that's why you want to keep things stable with this person for a lot of you i see two influencers there can be two people in your surroundings yeah king of cups and emperor mm, temperance again okay this can be the same person gemini if you want to hear from them, I do see you might hear from them. In This is a specific person whom you turned down in past and picking up. And now you're getting this realization after knowing more about them, after getting more information about them. You're feeling that I want to meet this person again. For some of you, you have this idea on mind that uh, probably I reacted too soon. You're not convinced that they are, not, they are the one, but still you are hopeful that, okay, I need to meet this person again, right? That's the schizophrenia energy, I think, two of swords. You are attracted to them and you're thinking that this could be the one, but again, there is a confusion, there's a diciness, there's skepticism on your mind. Five of Pentacles, they, on the other hand, have been through an emotional phase because of you. This person is in love with you. I'm, I'm feeling King of Cups twice. 
I do see that there are emotions. They feel love for you. And uh, for some of you, I see you've bruised, bruised someone's ego. You turned them down and now their ego has been bruised and that's why they're holding silence. They're not, not saying anything. You want to break the silence, but they're holding silence. Okay. So <clears throat> temperance shows me that they're on the healing mode. A lot of major arcana for this person. They feel abandoned. You have definitely bruised someone's ego. Right? It's not coming up front in an unhealthy manner. It's not the devil. But it's like they want to hold back. They're stepping back for some time because now they want you to come and find them. Right? The feeling that I have done, what could I, I could have done? And um, Gemini was up front. Gemini turned me down. Now, if you want reconciliation, you come and find me. You have definitely bruised someone. Chariot, Page of Pentacles, and Knight of Cups. Interesting, Gemini. <laughs> okay, what is this Page of Pentacles for you? Wow, Queen of Cups, my God. Okay, uh, it's a connection you were not able to understand, Gemini. This is very interesting. I'm getting a message, Gemini, that um, <clears throat> somewhere at heart you knew that this is something interesting, right? This can go somewhere, but there was some kind of resistance on your mind. You were dodging this connection. This is that connection for a lot of you. I'm picking up that you were avoiding and you were dodging, right? Probably because it was not um, something that you wanted or this was not something that you are used to. And uh, you have definitely bruised this person's ego. Unknowingly, I think you've turned them down in past. And they are, they're not turning anything down, but they're very logical. You know, they're sitting in a position where I see Aries energy again. Temperance, Sag, Cancer, Pisces. A lot of water energy is there. This person is in love with you. Page of Pentacles twice. I do see that they're waiting for the right time to reach out to you because they don't want to make it another blunder, right? They gave you something in past which was very small and I think they themselves were puzzled that, okay, I wanted to take it slow, I wanted it this time. I think you're coming to this realization that I do have feelings for this person. <laughs> In past, you were dodging those feelings. You were not ready to accept them. I see you were looking at the connection in a very logical manner. But one thing you cannot deny is that this person makes you happy. This person staying around them, being with them, sitting with them. Uh, just a coffee date for this person makes you feel happy. So I do feel this something good. Oh, main female, and here you are, or somebody you're dealing with. If you are a male, Gemini, I see this is your main female, which you are not acknowledging right now. Oh my God, okay. Well, the man and the main female, you guys give a vibe to each other. A vibe that is unexplainable. Can you see that? Can you see this? I see you make each other conscious. You make each other... Um, uh, how should I say that? You trigger each other, you make them conscious, they feel conscious around you. Uh, one of you can be coming from a very good background, different kind of sophistication is there and the other person feels conscious. The other person on the other hand is innocent, conscious and uh, very naive energy. This person in turn feels trigger because, you know, you both are opposites. You both are opposites. And this is yin yang kind of energy I'm picking up. My God. Wow. Gemini. I'm, I'm seeing letter M very strongly. So this can be for some of you. Let's see where, where, what you need to hear. <laughs> this is some serious chemistry, honestly. And I think you've bruised their ego. If you're dealing with somebody who is uh, like a wealthy man, this energy, this person is working at a high level high post or boss something like that they're, they're having their own thing hmm. they, they're looking at you with a smile they know that this has a some this has something to go somewhere but you're like okay let me see you're very conscious about them very conscious about them and for a lot of you i'm picking up that your logical mind is not ready to accept the connection you have with this person not Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So for some of you, I see the female in the picture <clears throat> feels that <clears throat> this person is triggering, right? So if you are the Gemini female, I see you guys feel a little triggered around this person and you want to hold on to your self-respect. And uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. You don't want to appear 
you know um give your relationship a chance passion work on your partnership allow your heart and soul to sing with joy very interesting gemini i see that you definitely um feel at some point where you have to give it a try there's a feeling within you that i will have to give a try to this connection because this is something unusual this is something that triggers me this is a good relationship i must tell you a, a very deep relationship is not just something where you can find the lovey dovey energy it's not puppy love it's something that triggers you it's something that brings that change in you and motivates you to be a different person to be a better person to come out of your skin and be uh, be out there you know it it motivates you somehow the passion the chemistry is very strong the love is very strong as the king and queen of cups energy but you know what <clears throat> i see there's a need to be self awake and self confident only then you can uh, face the intensity this person is throwing at you my god this is really intense my god <laughs> okay <clears throat> what what card we should have here i'm feeling like pull, pulling out more cards Let's see the outcome of this energy. This reading, okay. What's the outcome of this reading, Gemini? Outcome of this reading, Gemini. I see you both have the qualities that trigger each other. Have transformation, the significant life experience that requires changes to be made. powerful and often unexpected revelations breaking free of procrastination releasing old belief system yeah i think there's something in this person that triggers you and forces you to change and i think that's what is so intimidating about your connection you feel love for each other and despite of that you feel intimidated by each other and this emperor wealthy man image this shows me that this person is a person of authority they like to stay in charge they they have a vibe sometimes uh, you will come across this person and you'll feel that this person has a vibe where they like to just control everything with their energy this person speaks less i'm strongly picking up that they are not the one who is going to just come in and chitty chatty and you know vibrant energy no they'll come quietly sit down look at everything around them and they'll be like hmm okay more understanding less thing and this person can see through you you know somebody who is very experienced and uh, i don't really see egoistic person but you definitely have bruised their self respect you might have turned them down or now they're patiently waiting to you to make the move right amazing i see this connection is bringing a lot of transformation within you it's forcing you to bring some changes which is very confusing two of swords three of cups you love their company but despite of that something triggers you might my god oh my god empress take <clears throat> time to take action give birth to your dreams creative projects that will be very successful abundance and prosperity wow you have no idea of them and i how amazing this <clears throat> this can be if you give it a try i see give your relationship a chance work on your partnership if you both see i see very feminine and very masculine energy so maybe that's why because you two are different extremes it's hard for you to find the middle path sometimes the moment you are in that capacity where you can bring the balance in this connection you guys can actually go very very long you know it can be something very promising in long term so for a lot of you i'm getting this message that if you guys understand the potential of the situation i see it is going to be very very promising right this is an amazing energy I'm picking up here i'm getting a vibe from the energy is like this person is not going to be very proactive they'll sit and see and analyze and then suddenly some reaction is going to come out which is going to be massive so they're not that um, wishy washy giggly kind of person i'm not picking up that right you on the other hand um get triggered by their personality so i think some some comfort needs to be developed some comfort needs to be developed and eventually it's a, it's a it's a green signal right it's a long term thing wow so that's the message i am picking up for you right now jemina thank you so much guys for watching bye bye